Hi, I'm Coach Stewart, and today I'm going to go over the 4-2 rotation for serve-receive. A little disclaimer to the players to let you know that some of your coaches may do this a little different, and that's okay. Do whatever your coach says. This is simply to demonstrate the basic 4-2 rotation. And for coaches, run your rotation whatever works best for your team. If you have any questions about how to get the most out of a 4-2 rotation for your team, feel free to post them in the comments below. Here we are starting in rotation one. Now you can put your players wherever you want. I'm going to have our setter start in position two, in zone two right here. The important thing is that you know where your opposite is. Setters are opposite of each other, outsides are opposite of each other, and middles are opposite of each other. I'm also going to be having the setter follow the middle. Sometimes you'll have the setter follow the outside, so these two will be switched and these two will be switched. But in this, I'm going to have the setter follow the middle. Now, in some teams, you may have a libero replace the middle when they get to the back. That's fine too, but I'm going to keep this as the middle of the entire time. And so here's what rotation one will look like for serve receive. I'm going to get into place. So I'm going to stack a little bit to the left um, because both of these players have to cross here. Um, some coaches like to have them stacked all the way to the left so that the outside is ready to go. That's fine. This is just a demonstration. You can set this up however you want. But the middle is going to cross and get here to attack. And the outside is going to cross and get here, get ready to attack. And the setter is going to hang out right here. The ball is going to be served. The players move outside here, middle here, setter here, ready to go. And then your hitter's good. And then we're going to get back to where we were. And we're going to rotate into rotation two. Now this is rotation two. In a 4-2 rotation, you use the front row setter only. So this person, the setter one, is not, not setting anymore. Setter two is now the setter. So we're going to have to stack that a little bit differently for rotation two. So the setter needs to get all the way over here. The outside needs to get all the way over there. And because we're stacking in the middle, we want this middle one closest to the 10 foot line so that we'll have at least one hitter ready because the outside has to go so far we're going to have the middle right here next to the 10 foot line now once again some coaches may stack over here all the way to the left and then the setter is going to have to run further but this is for just demonstration purpose you can set it up however you want so the setter is going to cross over here outside is going to go all the way to the outside and middle is going to hang out right here so let's see what that looks like Right, there we go. See, in the middle only had to take a couple of steps. Setter moved over here, outside all the way over here. And then the hitters are set up. We're going to go back to where we were and rotate. Rotation three. In a four three, in a four three, in a four two, there are only three rotations. So here we are, our setter two here. And our outside is over here, so the outside can hang out here. Our middle just needs to come in a little bit. So that's what this is what that's going to look like. We set up for server receive server on rotation three. Now, if you want, you can pull the outside all the way back here. Um, sometimes they just happen to get in the way. So I'm just, for demonstration purposes, keeping it right here. Your middle, once again, closest to the 10-foot line to get ready to attack. And then this is what the transition looks like. Easy peasy. Rotation three is pretty pretty straightforward. Middle and outside are almost always in place. Now we're going to get back to where we were in our base, and we're going to rotate back to rotation one. That's all three rotations. Now the important thing to know is that your middle and your outside, especially when that ball is served. Yes, they need to get to their spot, but they absolutely need to be watching the ball. Because um, if they're not watching the ball, 
that ball could go anywhere, and they're not ready for it, so they need to be watching the ball. So when the middle is running this way, their back may or may not be to the ball. If that ball is served over here, this middle running this way, that ball is probably going to be behind the middle's head, so the middle needs to be watching where that ball is going. Same thing for the outside. Let's say the ball is served over here to the middle, and the outside is running across the court. Their back is turned to the ball, so they need to be aware of where the ball is going. I hope that video was helpful. If you have any more questions about volleyball, feel free to post those in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.